Girl, I know you have been trying. I know you have been trying to exit your lazy girl era and you are like, you're almost there, but you're like, girl, everything that I do, everything that I try, it's not working. Why isn't it working? Maybe I'm just lazy. Maybe I'm just doomed forever. Maybe I'm a forever lazy girly or something. No ma'am, okay? Have you ever thought about it like this? Maybe you are distracted by all the very many things that you have going on in your life. I'm gonna teach you how to limit your distractions and start to be in your productive girly era. Hey guys, it's Elisha, or you can call me Eli, and we are back for another video. Today we are gonna be doing another video on how to exit your lazy girl era and into your productive girly era, but this one is more on distractions. So today we're gonna be talking about the distractions that you need to limit in your life to actually be in your productive girly era. Number one is being distracted by your bad habits. You're probably like, what? How can you be distracted by your bad habits? Or maybe you already know that you're distracted by your bad habits or whatever. But listen, when you have a habit that you've been doing for a long time, habits automatically become automatic. They start to become automatic in your life and you don't even know or realize that you're doing those habits. I consider bad habits things that are like making you get away from your goal. They don't have to necessarily be like super, super bad, but they might be like little habits that you might not even know that you do that could be affecting how you get to your goal or how you become productive. Um, so for instance, with my YouTube channel, I realized that since I work a nine to five, one of my bad habits was that I woke up at 5 a.m. Monday through Friday, but on weekends, I didn't wake up at 5 a.m. Monday through Friday because I was like, it's the weekend, I can film whenever. But I realized that that's the only time that I have optimal time to film. And a big distraction for me was getting up late because on weekends I thought, oh, I can just get up late and film whenever. But I didn't realize that that was a distraction for me because then there were things that are popping up during the day and I was like oh my god I actually have to wake up at 5 a.m. on weekends also so I had to it wasn't necessarily like a horrible habit but it was something that needed to change in order for me to get to a point where I could film where I could be in my productive girl era um like right now it is six in the morning and I'm filming I'm up girl <laughs> okay and there's a reason for that because I know that that was one of the limitations that I had and I needed to figure out so that I can be in my productive early era so my tip for you is figure out your top three goals the things that you want to have happen this year write them out and actually ooh, the power went out <laughs> there's a hurricane currently going on so I'm trying to film but ooh, we'll, we'll see how this goes but I'm actually reading this book called The Compound Effect. I'll put it up here. Something that that book taught me was that list out the three top goals that you have. So we have six months left for the year. List out the top three things that you want to happen, right? List them out and then um, write out all the bad habits that are affecting you from getting to that goal or that habit or that routine. Then once you list out all the bad habits that you have that is preventing you from getting to that goal, write out the opposite. Write out what good habits can you replace that with or what things can you do in order to get you to that point what is currently distracting you from getting to a place where you actually have those good habits but where you actually can get to that um goal or be productive what is getting in the way of that pretty much and game changer <laughs> i did that last night and i was like yes this definitely has to be in my video because like that game changer because now i'm up i'm up and girl i'm filming and i'm here and bad habit bad habit gone okay and i was going to take some time to get rid of your bad habits but we're getting there okay the second thing that i have been implementing which i just talked about a little bit about but i've been implementing this i think since about october and that is to wake up before everybody okay it doesn't matter if you live alone or you live with other people i am a firm believer that you need to wake up before everybody okay i know that everybody doesn't like to get up early and maybe 5 a.m isn't your thing but when you are feeling like you're always distracted by something i feel like something has to get up right so if you're distracted by the world or social media a good trick is to wake up early because nobody be on social media in the morning i mean i 
guess you can scroll on TikTok and you can still scroll on like Instagram and stuff, but nobody's up, nobody's distracting you, nobody's texting you, nobody's trying to call you. Um, like, and if you also live with other people, most of the time you'll be up before them. So you'll be able to get yourself ready for the day or get, get things together before you have to um, answer to the world. And I just feel like that is the biggest thing that has helped me to remain and be productive was to start waking up earlier like like i said i wake up early monday through friday and now i'm trying to implement that over the weekends for my youtube videos and honestly it's been a game changer because i've been able to go to the gym before everybody i've been able to meditate journal i've been able to just do those things before people get to me or i get distracted by tasks or things that i have to get done i can cater to myself first before I have to cater to the world or everything else. And you guys know, this is a self-love channel. I always talk about pouring into yourself first. And that is like top main priority that you need to do. The next one I have been doing for about a couple months now, or maybe a year now, I don't know, I don't remember, but I've been doing this for a while. But when I wanna be productive, the next thing that I like to do is take the social media apps off my phone. Like I literally delete them off my phone. Cause if you delete them, you'll still be locked in, but you can just go ahead and delete them. And I delete them when I know I have to be productive that day. Early in the morning, I'll delete the social media apps and then I will do what I have to do like my routines everything all the productive things that i have to do and then when i'm done i like to put the social media apps back on my phone that might sound so like dramatic to people but i it's just something i have to do because if i don't do that i will literally sit there and scroll and scroll and scroll and it's just like an auto like i said an automatic bad habit like it's just an automatic bad habit and for me to eliminate that i just had to delete the apps off my phone um i also found when i did this i actually kept them off longer like i would go days without having the social media apps and I just felt like it just automatically became like like beneficial to me and I've more productive when the apps aren't on my phone because I have nothing to do <laughs> other than to be like in my routine um so that is my next tip is if you're distracted by social media girl delete those apps get your stuff done and then put those apps back on your phone it sounds very very tedious and like always like like dang but honestly it's the best thing that I it is the best thing that I have ever done here the next one is to utilize your do not disturb button okay when you are trying to be productive and you have things going on and people call you and they text you it definitely can distract you okay I know we want to answer that text maybe we want to answer that phone call um it can distract you and I feel like if you utilize the do not disturb button more while you're getting your stuff together and you're getting things done game changer game changer because then your phone doesn't really notify you you don't know your phone is going off and you, you're able to get your things done like before people are able to talk to you then when you're done you can call them back you can text them back but at least you got your stuff done before anything okay the next one i have is your mindset okay i'm a firm believer that your mind can distract you from being productive and i talked a little bit about this in my reinventing yourself from your lazy girl era video about being overwhelmed and the reason i think that your mind can distract you is because the negativity in your mind um peeps and pops up and like it's very hard to control sometimes and i definitely think your mind can be a distraction especially when you tell yourself like you can't do it or you can't um be productive or you're lazy all this other stuff one of my biggest tips that has helped me with my mind distraction is to affirm myself but also when i'm affirm before i affirm myself i like to take everything that's going on in my mind and write it down like a brain dump and then i like to write out the opposite of what the negative like what the what my mind is telling me so if my mind is telling me something negative like oh you can't do it you can't make it i like to write it down i do like to dig up the root and ask myself where that's coming from and then i like to switch that into a positive and then i like to reaffirm be positive thought um pretty much like changing my identity so i'll like affirm something new to myself over and over and over again and what i found when i do that it does like kill the distraction it is something that is very tedious and something that needs to be done like proactively and i found that that is something that needs to happen in my life all the time actually in my last video about blowing up um and becoming unrecognizable i talk about this 
where it's like you have to affirm in the morning you have to affirm at night and then you also have to affirm before you do the task and that sounds very very tedious to some but i don't even care because i i do that because i know that that's going to make me the most productive it's going to get rid of that mind distraction and it's going to make me into the woman that i need to be and if i have to keep affirming myself <laughs> and changing my identity over and over again that's what i'm gonna do okay but you want to make sure that you're not just doing that you know after you affirm yourself you need to like get past those uncomfortable feelings and you need to get up and do what you feel like you need to go do um routine wise productivity wise get up and do the thing cross into the fire go straight into the fire become uncomfortable you will make it out the fire trust me um but don't just only like don't just only work on the mind thing once you work on that mind thing get up and do the thing that you're afraid of or your mind is telling you that you can't do and i promise you you will be the most productive thing in the world first six is to start creating boundaries with people okay i do think that sometimes we can get distracted by the things that people have going on or things that like maybe your friend invites you somewhere and you know you have to get something done i definitely think creating boundaries with people and telling them hey look i can't hang out right now i'm busy is a game changer that's actually one of the first things i started to do in my productive girly era i feel like um i started to just say no more <laughs> and I feel like once I started saying no more, I felt like my life definitely did a 360 because I was able to get things done that I need to get done. And that's why I do have that tip of like waking up earlier because I just feel like it's easier to get like things done before the world is like up. But also you also have to, you can't always just use that as like your productivity time because maybe you have to be productive in the afternoon or night, whatever let people know like you're not missing out stop being afraid of FOMO there is going to be like <laughs> another event just let people know most people will understand and if they don't understand then they're probably not people you should be around or hang out with but I honestly think that you just need to start creating boundaries with people because people can be a distraction to you especially if you, you want to go out with you know you want to go out you want to do you want to have fun but like you know you have to be productive like say no <laughs> say no i promise you won't regret it there's going to be something fun like there's going to be a new, another event there's going to be something else that you can do right so don't think just because you're missing out on one thing means that you're missing out on everything the next thing that i feel like a lot of people don't think about but a lot of people do including myself is you're distracted by the small tasks okay you need to start prioritizing your time by actually making a list of the most important things that you need to get done and then making a list of the smaller things that don't even need to get done today like game changer okay first of all sometimes we get distracted by the little things because we're like oh this thing is easy this thing will take me less time let me do this first but then we start to then we're like looking back at our list and we're like dang what did i really get done today or like i didn't do anything to kind of get me where i wanted to be and that's because you didn't do the most uh most important task you didn't do the thing that actually was going to help you get where you need to be yeah you might need to go to target like yeah that might be of, of importance but it might not be as important as going to the gym or eating healthy or, or whatever you're trying to do like it might not be as important as that or like meal prepping or whatever you're trying to do it might not be as important okay if it's going to hurt you tomorrow do the thing today okay if it's going to hurt you tomorrow do the thing today okay do not put it off just because it might seem longer harder or just like you know like too much just because it's harder like you might need to get the hard thing done first okay game changer trust me you were gonna thank me for that too okay <laughs> and the last tip i have is to make a vision board but not only to make a vision board but put your vision board in front of you okay this one is not necessarily a bad distraction that you need to get rid of but it's actually a good distraction okay when your vision board is in your face <laughs> and you see that thing every day you wake up like my vision board literally my bed is right here and my vision board is like in front on a wall i wake up every day breathing and sleep like i wake up breathing my vision board okay like i wake up and i see that vision board right there and i'm like oof <laughs> 
when your vision board is right in front of you it is a good distraction because then you're like oh my god i need to get myself together <laughs> okay it will be the one of the best distractions that you have just putting it right there put it put it right there put it right there girl i promise you you're gonna be looking at it like okay i need to be productive i need to get myself together i need to do this i need to do that girl do the vision board and put it in sight stop putting your vision board to the side where you can't see it you need to see your vision board you need to be able to see your vision board that is all i have for this video about you are not lazy you are distracted i hope you guys enjoyed this video i felt like it was a little bit quicker video but i'm glad i got it done because it is storming outside and the power keep going off so girl i'm gonna go but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you would like to see down below and i'll see you in my next one bye